good morning and welcome back to the channel guys this is latoya and i'm here today with a teacher vlog so today is january the 8th 2024 we made it to 2024 so happy new year everyone um today i'm just gonna be showing you a little bit what we're doing today uh, those come by from summer break tomorrow so today we were able to come back without them to get a few things straighten out you know or get caught up on some things definitely to get those lesson plans to get those lesson plans done but yes i want to just show you guys a little bit what i'm doing today and what i purchased for my classroom okay so i have really gotten big with anchor charts like i love anchor charts they're so helpful and i do like putting them or making them myself and putting them on the walls or hanging them around the classroom but i also have noticed that individual anchor charts are very good as well for the students to look back in and be like oh okay that's how you do that and i definitely like for them to use their personal anchor charts when they're doing their daily assignments so i went to walmart and i purchased these little um folders they're the plastic ones so they'll hold up three ring binders the plastic three ring binders and they have pockets so i'm going to use these as their anchor chart folder like the build section for the ela anchor charts and a section for the math anchor charts so what i did at home on my cricut i just made some labels with their names on them and i also um, made labels that says anchor charts so that will go on the outside of their folders. So I'm gonna do one real quick and then I'll be like, okay. Oh, so I got the first one done and I actually have to put it going this way. However, you see how that A is hanging off a little bit. So I'm gonna have to split it and make them closer together. So good thing I made like extra labels and have an extra um, folder. So like I was saying, see how it's already separated for me. So instead of trying to do it all as one word, I'm gonna have to split them and do them as two words. Okay, so I just finished this one. And I think I like it this way better. And it says anchor. So it's right there versus trying to put it on the side. So I think I'm just gonna do it this way and then they have a label with their name and their name will go at the bottom. So yes, that's what I plan on doing for anchor chart folders. Um, and like I said, I made the letters with my Cricut. And guys, I also got in these bins here. I ordered them off of Amazon. So our students got a fundraiser. They had a cookie dough fundraiser and your classroom get um, some of the money that was made off the cookie dough fundraiser. So however much money your kids make, that's more money you get for your classroom so and you get to use the money on amazon and i purchased these bins for my books because um i used to only teach math and science but now i'm teaching all the subjects so ela we have a program called wonders so i had to get book bins so i could put the wonders books in those and i'm gonna show you the wonders books Okay, so these this is what the Warner's books look like, um, but they're color coded. So you have levels. You have your um, beginners, your approaching, and your own grade level um, for each of the books. So I have to separate the books by levels. So that's why I got these book bands that match my classroom colors perfectly. So I'll be using those for my books. Um, I also just got a few more things for my classroom uh, from the Dollar Tree while we were out over the Christmas break. I did purchase this map that I'm going to hang up on the wall because, like I said, now I'm teaching all the subjects and we're, we're going to be talking about the states and their capitals. So I thought how appropriate would it be just to have that map in the classroom. I brought these clothes pins because whenever I, um, it have the children's number on it. It have their number so you'll know who's doing what for the day, like for my class helpers, like my line leader and my door holder and my 
teacher helper for the day. So their clothes pin will be where they're working at for the day. Um, I also got just this like map. It has the educational posters, a lot of math posters, just to hang up on the wall. I got a bunch of pencils. These are like 100 days of school pencils. I'll pass those out when we reach 100 days of school. And I think I actually got those from Target. I got those from Target at the dollar at the dollar spot. These I got from the Dollar Tree. These are just some pencils with, um, this has orange, orange great, banana above learning, just like some cute little sayings on it. And then these have like some rockets and spaceships and it says you're a star. And my kids love getting pencils like as rewards. So that's, that's great. That's great. So I also got, because I want to start having them doing some um, little arts and crafts like the days that we can't go outside if the weather is not good. So I just I have tons of paint. So I just brought these little um, paint platelets. It's six in a pack. So each one of my students can have their own. They can have different colors of paint and they will be responsible for their own tray and cleaning it and making sure everything gets put like where it's supposed to be. And yeah, that's some of the, that's a little bit of the stuff that I got over the break. But yeah, like I said, today is just a teacher's work day. I'm gonna work on my lesson plans. Um, I'm gonna get my book bins ready. I'm gonna make labels for them with my Cricut when I get home. And then I'm just gonna finish working on their anchor chart folders. And so those can be ready for them when they get back to school. Good morning and welcome back to the channel guys. Today is Wednesday, January the 10th. So Tuesday, we the school closed down because of the weather here in Florida. We had unexpected high winds and rain. So just to be on the safe side, school was canceled, but now we're gonna have to make that day up. So one of our teacher work days is gonna be a makeup day. But um, so I'm just getting here kids haven't got here yet they'll be here in a few minutes but um i'm excited because we got a lot of stuff that we need to be working on that we need to be doing i haven't got my google slides up yet so i'm about to get that up but i just want to come in real quick and say good morning and i will come back with you guys in just a minute but i'm gonna show you try to do an outfit of the day give me just a second all right so I have on this jean top. I love it. I love the sleeves. I got it from Sheen and it's really thick, nice material. I think I only paid like 12 bucks for it. Then I got these brown trousers. I got the trousers from Target. I do not have on heels today because these pants are really long. I have on, um, these are actually MK. Let me, hold up. My MK heels. But yes, um, I just have on some gold studs, my Apple Watch, and that's about it. But yeah, I'm gonna check back with you guys in a little bit. Let me get my board together because the kids will be coming in in just a minute. All right, y'all, so I'm back. I just dropped my kiddos off to lunch. Um, they have lunch from 11.30 to 12. And I always come back to my classroom for lunch. I don't eat lunch in the teacher's lounge because I just like to come right to my class. I really don't eat lunch at that time. I eat lunch during my planning period. And I just come out to my classroom to um, either grade papers or print out some papers, whatever I need to do while the kiddos in lunch. So today they're working on pronouns and wonders. So um, I printed out the grammar packet for them to work on, but I, I, we do a program called Exact Path. So I went into Exact Path and assigned them um, pronouns, and it gave them like a quick little lesson. And that surprisingly, I don't want to say surprisingly, but they did overall. They did really good. I got 
quite a few hundreds, some 90s, some 80s. So I'm super proud of them. Um, so when they come back for lunch, we'll just continue working wonders. And no, we won't continue working wonders. Yes, we will, because we're not gonna go outside for recess after lunch today. It's freezing here in Florida. For us, it's cold. It's like in the 40s and the wind is blowing. If the wind wasn't blowing, it wouldn't be so bad, but with that wind, it's cold. So I don't feel bad about them not going to recess today because they have PE today. So they will be doing a lot of running around in PE. Um, so we need to come back because we had that day out. It's getting us either even further behind because of the weather. So when they come back from um, lunch, we'll continue wonders. Then they will go to PE. And when they come back from PE, we will work on math. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Or I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> so I know I said I'll see y'all <laughs> tomorrow, but I lied. I'm eating lunch now. I just have um Target has like grilled chicken breast, grilled fajita breast, like that tray lasts me like three, three or four days. And I just made a salad out of it. But y'all listen, while we were out on winter break, I had ordered some stuff from Amazon before we went out. Um, I told you that with the cookie dough money. So I had ordered some Sharpies and some markers. Um, and they got delivered somewhere. I don't know where it got delivered to. And they signed my name so i was telling my principal about it. i was like yeah nobody are y'all up there today because who signed for my packet she was like nobody's up there i don't know who has signed for it anyway they found it today i just got a message from her saying they found my package it went to another place of business and in the amazon package these i had got these right here for my um for the dry erase not dry erase, but for my anchor charts. I got some more markers to do my anchor charts. And then these right here. I love these. These are the um, Sharpie markers. The real fine tip. Absolutely love them. I write with them. I write in my planner with these. I grade papers with these. I just use them for everything. I love these. But yeah, I want to tell y'all about that real quick. About my Amazon package got lost somewhere but i'm glad they were honest enough to bring it back and it wasn't even opened so yeah i will see you guys later hey y'all and welcome back to the channel so today is thursday january the 11th and i didn't get to record this morning when i first got here because i had some stuff i had to do and i got here like right on time this morning and so I didn't have time to even pick up and start recording because the kids were coming in like five minutes after I got here. Excuse me. But yeah, so today is Thursday. Um, we have been working wonders. And some of the teachers, they didn't even start their wonders. We're in unit four. I'm sorry, y'all. Unit four, week one. They didn't even start because we missed like the first two days of the week. So, and then next week, we're out Monday for MLK Day. So, they were like, we'll just, they'll just start next week. But I already started getting my kids a little bit of a jump start because Wonders is very tedious. I don't know if any of you teachers out there are teaching Wonders fourth grade for ELA. It's very tedious and it's very repetitive. So, I do have um, a... PowerPoint presentation that I'm doing for a unit for week one, well, the whole unit for all the way up on week five, and it's making it flow a little bit faster, but it's still very tedious. So, right now, I'm just on my planning. The kids are at tech today, so I'm just in here about to um, pass some things out on their desk, like some stuff that was in the mailboxes that need to be passed out. I'm just about to do that, and I I have eight students that are on AIPs for ELA. So what that means is I need to do different assignments for them to get them at least 
meeting. <laughs> I need to get them on grade level. Like right now they are below. So I need to get them to meeting. So I did um set them up a diagnostic test on exact path because they are um struggling with reading comprehension and informational text. So I just did the um set that diagnostic up to see where they're at and where I can help them more. And one of my students that finished it today, she actually did good. Like she did really good on it. So I'm pretty sure she will um, be meeting. Well, from what it shows, she's already meeting off this first diagnostic. So she will get her little extra assignments and then I will give her a diagnostic again um, in a couple of weeks and see if she's a meeting or exceeding then she um, can come off the AIP. So the AIP are like interventions before they get to the IEPs, 504s. So we're trying to prevent that. So we start at AIP and then they get like an extra intervention type thing going on. So yeah, that's what's going on today. Um, it's about to start raining here. So, the kids might have rainy day dismissal, but like I say, right now we don't have too much going on other than I am getting them, just getting the classroom cleaned up and while they're at tech. But I'm gonna show you guys my outfit of the day. Okay, so I have um, just a black top and I have on some pink cargos. Let me pull it down so. some pink cargos and then some um black ankle boots but yeah very very simple today i know that probably wasn't a very good outfit of the day but i mean showing of the outfit of the day but like i said i just got on a black bodysuit that i i can't even remember where i got it from and then these pink cargos i got those for from target walk around here real quick and see if I can show you guys and these cargos are <laughs> y'all don't pay attention to my belt book of the heart it's upside down and I didn't feel like taking it apart and redoing it but yeah, that's it. That's all I have. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning and happy Friday. I'm so happy it's Friday. It's Friday, January the 12th, 2024. Um, even though it's been a short week, it's been a long week. Um, and yeah, today is Friday, so... We're not going to be doing much today, like, we're going to be getting caught up on some stuff or doing some makeup. Actually, I am going to be giving my kids um, their ELA uh, reading diagnostics test on the program exact path that I was telling you guys about. My AIP students took it yesterday, and they had great growth. So I said, I'm going to just let the whole the rest of the class take it today. And then my AIP students, I'm gonna be working with them on something else. So they'll be in a small group working on something else while the rest of the class is taking that diagnostic. It's like 40 questions. Um, and it takes them roughly 40 to 60 minutes. Like my AIP student that actually went through and did hers all the way through. It took her 40 minutes and she had great growth. I was so happy and excited about that. But yeah, uh, I'm about to get my agenda put up for the kiddos. Um, and then, yeah, we'll get our day started. But let me show you my outfit real quick. Guys, last night I went to Walmart to get groceries. And I saw these sweatshirts. Um, Time and True sweatshirts. Let me put it down. However, they were only $10. So I was like, ooh, I like those. Those are basic sweatshirts. I just put a, a image on it. For my cricket 
I didn't do the best job. I didn't do the best job. Um, like my letters, I should have made them a little bit bigger. But hey, this is good enough. So I'm gonna go back today and get the rest of the colors because they are just the right size. Good morning. So yeah, here's my outfit of the other day. So, so yeah, I just have on that sweater, some bright skinny jeans. I got those from Walmart last night as well. And then just some bright ankle boots. But yeah, I will see you guys in a little bit.